Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ethan Mitchell and today we will take a look at the most recent updates for the Peridonafi. Since Parrot released the Anafi, there has been several updates, with the most recent adding a number of features. So first we will run through the new additions and then put the Anafi up and see how they perform. So let's run through the list. For the camera, we have improved HDR. HDR has been added to 2.7K, 1080p, and photos. 720p at 120 frames per second has been added to slow motion and high frame rate. Tap screen exposure lock has also been added. For the flight modes, Point of interest has been added to Tapfly, which also gives you access to the Smartronis. Under Cine Shots, Rise has been replaced with Spiral. Follow Me has two new features, Track and Dynamic. And lastly, my personal favorite, Subject Framing. Okay, so let's move on to the camera features and starting off with the HDR. It's great that Parrot added HDR to 2.7K and 1080p, and it's much better than it was, but it still has a bit of noise in it, especially with low light. The biggest improvement with the HDR is in the photos. The HDR photos look really nice and I would definitely be using this whenever I take photos. Parrot has also added photo bracketing to a previous update and this allows the Anafi to take multiple photos with multiple exposures. These photos can then be combined in post-processing to give you the widest dynamic range. So let's move on to 720p. Parrot has added 720p at 120 frames per second to slow motion and high frame rate. In slow motion, the Anafi will automatically create a retimed video and played back at 30 frames per second. Under high frame rate, the video is played back at 120 frames per second and can be retimed in post processing. Moving on to tap exposure lock. When using auto exposure, you can tap the screen on an area you want the drone to expose for. If there is an area in your shot that you want the camera to expose for, simply tap on that area of the screen and the camera will adjust and lock the exposure for that area. On to the flight modes. In Cine Shots, Rise has been replaced with Spiral. The only difference that I have noticed is that Spiral will do a continuous 360 as the drone rises in height. Other than that, it's pretty much identical to Rise. Moving on to Tap Fly. Tapfly now has two options, waypoint and point of interest. In the past, Tapfly only had waypoint, which you would use by pointing to an area on the map and the drone would fly to that spot. This is useful for flying straight and steady lines as the Anafi will keep a constant speed and heading. With the addition of point of interest, you now have access to the smart dronies. This allows you to pick a point on the map and perform a smart journey around that spot. Okay, let's move on to Follow Me, and there's quite a few changes with this mode. Parrot has added two new features to Follow Me, Track and Dynamic. Track will fall behind your subject and follow from behind. This is useful when following a car or a boat or anything where you want to film from behind. You can make adjustments to where the drone is, but it will fall back to follow from behind. Lock is the original way Follow Me was set up. The drone will keep its orientation in space to your subject. In this mode, you can change position by moving the control sticks and the drone will keep the camera locked on the subject. This is useful when you want to use follow me and have a changing perspective in the same shot. In dynamic, the drone will keep its orientation in relation to you. So if you have the drone on your right side and you make a turn, it will speed up and move ahead to stay on your right side. In this mode, the drone can make dramatic and unexpected speed changes to keep its orientation so be very cautious about your surroundings. Remember, no obstacle avoidance. Okay, lastly, my personal favorite, and I've been hoping that a drone would come out this for a very long time, framing. This is huge. You will not find this on any other drone that's currently on the market right now. When using Cameraman, Follow Me, or any of the smart dronies, you have the ability to frame your subject. This allows you to improve your composition and you are not limited to keeping your subject center frame. When using these modes, after you have locked onto your subject, simply tap and hold the screen, then drag your subject to the area of the frame that you would like. The Anafi will then keep the subject in that area of the frame while performing the maneuver. This way you can use the rule of thirds to better compose your shot.
Okay, so there you have it, the most recent updates for the Parrot Anafi. I must say, I am very impressed with these new additions. The Anafi has many features that are very useful that the bigger names simply don't have. The only two things that I would still really like to see are the addition of a histogram and speed control for the smart dronies. Now I do believe Parrot is gonna keep coming out with updates, so if there's something that you would like to see, go to your app store and leave them a comment. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.